Vice President Pence played defense yesterday, walking out of the Colts 49ers game after players protested during the anthem. His boss tweeted that he instructed him to leave if that happens. But everyone knew the 49ers were going to take a knee because they actually started a lot of this. So was this a $250,000 grant publicity stunt? Because that's what it cost to get him the vice president to the game for five minutes and fly him back. Pence is kind of like a prop. He's like a prop that Trump says, do this, he does it. Do this, he does it. He's like a little prop. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why the, the, I don't know why you have to leave the game because I think if you're, if you, even if you are someone that stands and put your hand on your heart, mm -hmm. you can do that next to someone kneeling. You don't have to leave. I, I think it was a little bit of a, 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 a oh, but pissing it's, match. The guys, it's, the, the guys are doing this to make a point about social justice and racism in the country mm -hmm. and how the police are, are you know, uh, singling out black people, black guys for violent behavior. Yeah. And they're making it about patriotism and the anthem. And it's not, the two things that are mutually exclusive but in this case. Colin Kaepernick made it about the national anthem. And don't you think this has become a distraction from the original purpose of Black Lives Matter? No, no, this Bringing is, awareness I, to it? I, I, I'm going to, because well, uh, er, Eric, Eric Reed, who did this along with Colin, uh, said that, the, that he and Kaepernick spoke about the issues, including systematic oppression against people of color, police brutality, and the mm -hmm. criminal yeah. justice. And they discovered, they discussed how they could use their platform uh, provided uh, to them being professional athletes hey, and you, to speak for those who are voiceless. So their, their, initial, their initial thing was about all of, the, uh, all of the unarmed folks. And for Eric in particular, it was the Alton Sterling case yeah. that that got and, him that got them talking and what about he specifically it. said also in, in in that article is that they met with veterans and they decided to take a knee because they found that it was the most respectful way to protest and, and better I, than sitting but, exactly. better than well, sitting and i have to tell you like you know i i i think about constitutional rights i mean when you are a public servant you are supposed to enforce the Constitution, protect the Constitution, and for the government, through Pence and the president, to tell people and almost demand people not to exercise their constitutional rights, that's very un-American. Yeah. I'll let the audience come to me. You know, one of the things that I'm going to bring to this show, since this is my first day, is we're going to talk a lot about culture wars that are raging in America right now. And I am a total red state girl. I come from Phoenix, Arizona. I know my people. And this has turned into a culture war. For me, when I was 19 years old and my brother was 17, he deployed to Iraq the first time. And it was the first time that I ever framed an American flag and put it in my living room. It's still there. It's above my dining room table right now. And the American flag and the national anthem mean more to me than just symbolism. It's, I'm deeply patriotic. And to me, when I thought he could possibly get blown up in a Humvee mm -hmm. in Iraq, it gave me solace. So I think there's a misunderstanding that I think we can have a conversation about both things while still respecting what the national anthem and the American flag mean to people like me. Don't you, don't well, you ever I, see the point? There's another point of view on that, though, which I brought up last week. People who die for the flag in, in these wars mm -hmm. are also dying and defending the flag so that people like Kaepernick and the rest of them can protest. I didn't say they didn't have a right to. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying, but what I'm saying is, first of all, the constitutional right to protest is the very fabric of America right. in every way. Yeah. I'm not saying they yeah. can't do it. I'm just saying, understand why, if I were there with Pre Vice President Prince, I would have walked out too. I'm just saying you have to understand how deeply tribal this is and how deeply cultural this is. And to desecrate, or excuse me, disrespect the flag in the way that they're doing, I find offensive. That's, that being said, they have every right to do but it. But that's the thing, it's, it's not disrespectful to the, to the it's flag. It's, it's their constitutional right. I think it's very patriotic. Let me just say this, I know we're running out of time. Um, I went to my son's football game uh, this Saturday, and unbeknownst to me, he was going to, to, going to kneel. He was going to take a knee. He took a knee with the only other two African-American boys there, and I immediately was concerned for him because the audience started sort of, mm, there was a humming going on. I should never feel uncomfortable for my son because he is exercising his constitutional <laughs> You know we're going to come back and finish the discussion, <laughs> so we'll be right back. <laughs>